well you might recognize that we're back in our old pitch we've moved from over there because having a right hand side of the van means when the other campers turn up in their English vans they would have been a bit too close to us because it's not based on your pitch size but which way round you go which is a bit of a shame but actually this is a much better spot because we, like we can it. reach the water straight to us there's no carrying water <laughs> I keep interrupting don't I sorry <laughs> and Buff's having a wonderful time she's uh, making real good friends with Ned the dog the owner's dog uh, so we're going to go and have a wander around. I need to walk down to the other gate because I'm so used to going out to work that way. But they've cut the bushes down so we've got a lovely view again. It's great. So we're going to go and see if we can find some Quakers. I know I thought they just made like porridge oats but allegedly it's not. I just know there won't be a pub there. Well, let's go see. So here we are, this is, uh, we're just walking up to the Quakers meeting house. Um, Helen's been reading up a little about it, I'm quite certain she'll uh, be spreading the word once we reach it, but I'm just quite, not quite certain. Oh, that'll be it then. But look at these ancient houses. Gate post. So this is the uh, Quaker Meeting House uh, at Upper Denby. Well, it's High Flats, which is near Upper Denby, and it was set up in 1650. And the Quakers were seen as really quite radical because at the time it was deemed illegal not to go to church on Sundays. And so they set up the meeting houses and the whole idea of Quakerism is that they don't see that there should be anybody between you and your God. So you have your own spiritual awareness and meetings tend to just be uh, s people sitting in friendship in quiet contemplation with the like sometimes they might feel that they have to say something and this is how they got the uh, the name of being Quakers um, but as I say it was set up in 1650 uh, after uh, the guy who set it up here he had been the, one of the jailers in Nottingham jail for um, one of the founders of Quakerism if that's a word and um, he absconded from his guarding duties and came here and built this. And after the barn was set up, uh, people then started farming. So there were more buildings added, um, all sorts of crafts and everything. Um, but the way of life is very simple. Um, they believe in um, passive protest and fairness to all which I think is quite nice really.
for a little walk. It's Thursday afternoon. Uh, we haven't been out since we went to the wedding on Monday. It's just been, it's just been work, rain, work, rain. Grandchildren. Babysitting. So it's actually nice just to get out. We haven't gone far, you know, but it's pretty good. Nice all the way around. Good views. I think that's definitely, definitely rain coming though. More rain. They have predicted up and down the country for severe thunderstorms, but we'll see. But you can probably hear the breeze is definitely blowing up. But we're going to get back. We're going to the pub tonight. We can go to the pub now if you want. Well, I think if we go to the pub now, it will uh, keep me under my hours for uh, getting back to work this tomorrow. And not only that, if it's raining and it's thunderstorming, I'm not coming out. Yeah, might get a lock in. A lightning locking. <laughs> Can't go out, might get drowned. Especially. Well, we're both in sandals. Yeah, well, we're trying to top the tan, tan up a little. You know, we've got to keep it going. You don't get that much sunshine in West Yorkshire. But uh, great news today. Uh, Britain has took France off the magical Amber Plus list, which means you don't need to quarantine when you come back which is looking very, very good for our trip in the autumn. We should be able to do France and Spain, maybe possibly a little bit of Germany, but have no trouble getting back into the UK, fingers crossed. And yesterday it was announced to the insurance companies that we won't need a green card either for taking your vehicle into Europe on the 2nd of August, which is another thing that we won't need to worry about. So that's no international driving permits, no green card. Might be glad like getting back to the good old days apart from the 90 day limit. Oh, oh we don't need to do that. <laughs> that's because you're Irish. <laughs> and I'm a little bit Irish, but not enough. Anyway, we're going to go because we're waffling on and it's probably full of wind noise. And I'm surprised we ain't had a car run us over from behind. But if we're in the pub, you might get a beer shot. Well, shock horror. Da, 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 breaking news. What is the breaking news? We've, We've come to the pub. <laughs> no, that's not the breaking news because, like, who would have um, guessed that? And it, I'm on a, uh, a Copper Dragon bitter. And I'm this. on a Copper Dragon somewhere else. Silver Mixed. Silver Mist, which you've had before up at our local, which is the church inn in Saddleworth. Great pub if you ever go to it, and good food. But the George in Upper Denby has just been awarded best pub in Yorkshire. Now, given that Yorkshire it's huge. is the biggest county in England, and they like the beer, and they like the beer, and they're all tight. Wads, people, um, a bit like myself. That's some accolade. There you go, the George. But a gentleman from the Huddersfield in Examiner. Examiner, not Inquirer, because that might be someone else. <laughs> Huddersfield Examiner. He's about to interview us for on his paper. For his paper. Who'd have knew? A couple of um, well-versed people who know about their beer being interviewed in a pub whilst on holiday who just happened to be vloggers 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 do you not say vloggers vloggers no i say vloggers <laughs> i think you'll find it's vloggers i'm going to get vloggers 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 whatever anyway we will come back to you when the man's been out. Well, we've just uh, been interviewed. Um, it wasn't the Huddersfield Examiner. Helen had made that up. It was Yorkshire Live. And we were just interviewed. That's the interviewer and the uh, landlord. We've just, um, just had a chat to the landlady. Uh, she unfortunately only took the pub on two years ago. I don't know if she's the man that be, but yeah. She said she started two years ago, mm -hmm. but that was a difficult time to have started. Um, 
gone through some difficult times, all pubs have, but it's good. We're, we're doing our very best to make sure that all pubs stay afloat in these difficult times. Because we're just, we're just kind like that. Apart from the pub chain that begins with W. Oh yes, we don't do the Because he's a big B supporter, and I don't mean the yellow stripey things, and he treats his staff like S. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, even though we have we're camera members and we get a massive discount through his chain, I think I think you get them off every camera pub now. I think I maybe, don't... but I would never ever cross his door. I would rather not drink than cross a W's doorstep ever again. Support your local. That's what you need. Pay 50p more on a pint, but you'll get much better beer and much better service. Mm. Anyway, get on our fast soapbox, because yeah. the camera's wobbling a bit, and it's not because I've had a beer. Oh.